Corus is a little bit unique. We're an open access layer 2 provider that covers pretty much the whole of New Zealand. New Zealand's a small country, about 4.8 million people, and we provide the layer 2 access network for everyone who lives there. We've got a really exciting project in New Zealand. It's called Fire to the Home to 87%. It started in 2011, where the government's goal was 75%. And because it's been so successful, we've been now asked to roll it out to 87%. Uptake's 40% and we've got a great VDSL network behind it as well. Building fibre to 87% of the country is hard. Everyone tells you it's hard, it is hard. But if you set the target, you find all the little things that make it easier. And there's a lot of little things, how you engineer the network, how you build it, the processes you build, the systems you build. It's just lots of continuous improvement. So we've seen since we started the project in 2011, the average speed was 12 megabits per user. It's now 60 megabits per user. The average downloads in 2011 were 10 gigs per user, now it's 160 gigabytes per user. So we've seen a dramatic change in how New Zealanders are using broadband, and it's all thanks to having a better network. At Chorus we've based our fibre rollout on GPON. We're still playing with XGS. We think that's an exciting technology, and the amazing thing about fibre is the upgrade's easy. You want to put a new service on there, want to upgrade to 10 gig, just add a new card. It's really straightforward. One of the things in my role as Head of Innovation is to think of the future. And a lot of the future is actually quite boring. What we're looking at is how we can reuse many of our old assets like telephone poles, copper cables and exchanges for new things. And what we're finding with the advent of 5G, things like telephone poles are useful for small cells. What we're finding copper cables, not good for broadband anymore, but brilliant for powering small cells or small D-slams. We're also finding our telephone exchange buildings are the perfect place to put an edge cloud. So we've already converted one of our sites to a data centre and we're excited to put more things into that to see what all those things can do with network virtualisation and content delivery. One of the reasons we chose to work with Nokia is the roadmap. What we're looking for is not just the technology now, but what's the technology going to be in the next year, the next year after that, and the subsequent years. So we're really excited about some of the innovations that Nokia has brought for us in terms of next-gen PON. Also some of the stuff in the home looks really exciting about how it can solve customer problems of getting Wi-Fi around the home. One of the really fascinating things of doing fibre to the home is I've been in access for like 10, 15 years and you thought, well doing fibre solves all our problems. There's no longer a copper network in the way. What we've found is we're getting customers who get 100 meg or gigabit fibre complaining that it's not fast enough. So our engineering team go, what do you mean it's not fast enough? It's got, you know, that's the best. And what we've found is Wi-Fi. So what we're finding is having deployed this brilliant access network and making sure the network's uncongested, customers' Wi-Fi modem they bought doesn't work. And so they get a really poor experience all because of Wi-Fi. So we're really interested in Nokia's solutions for Wi-Fi. The biggest problem we get is people who want to stream Netflix in the back room of their house and get frustrated and call their service provider. Really looking for ways to solve, us, solve that problem. One of the things we're playing with at the moment, and it's quite an exciting technology that Nokia have developed, is something called Wipon. And that allows us to effectively do wireless fibre. So sometimes we have rights of way, which is a New Zealander where a shared driveway exists, and there'll be one neighbour who won't let us put fibre down the road. We're really interested in a techn technology like Wireless Pond to allow us to take fibre without having to dig up someone's driveway. We can also see in places like uh, business parks, where sometimes it's really hard to get fibre to a certain building and things like that. So there's, we can see a place for wireless in high capacity short haul um, applications. One of the things we're doing a lot of work with in Nokia is about how we can experiment. So we're running a number of different trials of how we can do content distribution, how we can do look at how front hall would work in a fibre rich environment like we have. So we can then help educate the rest of our customers on what they could do. So we want to make sure if someone's planning a radio network or someone's thinking about delivering content, they could actually deliver it in our network and Nokia are helping us figure out how that would work.